Hello folks, welcome back to the Barcelona save. We've had uh, we've progressed the season on a little bit further. Not too much, but just a little bit further. And we've in the January window and we've made some signings. Hmm. Uh, I wasn't planning on spending much money because money-wise, we're not doing too bad. If I show you, we've got 154 million in the bank. We've got 68 million pound transfer budget. They did give us uh, 42. We uh, sold a a player or two I think that gave us a little bit more money I'm sure we did it might have been exchange or something like that and uh, that increased us to a little bit more we adjusted the wage budget a little bit as well and uh, we brought in two players but uh, more importantly our debt is now below 700 million pounds by the end of season three I'm reckoning that's going to be zero the rate we're going, that's going to be zero. Because you look at sponsorships alone, that's a lot of money in there. A lot. I mean, there's 140 million pounds, 150, 60 million pounds there. That's half of what we need to try and reduce the debt by. But as long as we don't go mad, we'll be all right. So let's have a look at the couple of transfers that we have made. Manuel Noah. So that will indicate to you now we have sold a goalkeeper. This guy was cheap. Granted, probably not as great as Stegen. Just giving it away, actually. <laughs> um, from Bayern Munich. We have uh, nine million pounds, folks. Nine million pounds. We wanted somebody who's not going to concede a lot of goals. He keeps clean sheets and he doesn't concede goals. He's already conceded one goal in one game. <laughs> it wasn't his fault. But look at these stats. They look really good as well. He's... Six foot four, he's got good jumping reach, he can command the area. One on ones, he's pretty good at reflexes are high up there. He does have a tendency to rush out. His composure is brilliant as well. So, come penalty time, he's going to do as good. But the only snag it is 36 years old. I'm hoping we're going to get him for another season. If not, we're going to go into the market big and we're going to try and get Donnarumma for the final uh, season, I think. But that would be irresponsible of me i think if we're down if we're very close to uh, clearing the debt but we'll see we'll see what happens but yeah noya we're welcome to the team we had to go in and get Va donny van der beek 25 million i think he cost us he's worth up to 40 now he's been playing for us we did part to exchange him i can't remember who it was actually but um he hasn't played in the league yet so uh, uh, we've only just got him but he looks pretty solid enough in midfield i think he can uh, steady the ship in there as well and I think if there was one game, I'm not sure what it was, either Champions League or as a cup game, he between himself, Van, um, De Jong and Depay, all three of them combining together, beautiful goal. Really, really nice. Yeah, so Donny van der Beek comes, played 12 games. I think that's this season. So we really just started-ish the season. So he's uh, 22 games in the previous season, which I find very hard to... Uh, believe but yeah not playing very well so yeah we do bring him in we're saving him and we're using him in the attacking midfielder role at the moment but he can play midfield if we need him so they make way for well they don't make way they come in for stegan's gone to man united in fact both of these players have gone to man united yeah he looks okay <laughs> i'm laughing because We've uh, sold United uh, 95 bloody million pounds. He's already conceded three and two. So proves my point, doesn't it? 95 million pounds. We've sold Stegen to United for 95 million pounds. Looks all right, but I'm happy with that sale. And Pjanic has gone the other way in a part exchange deal, which we did for, to get Van der Beek in as well. Uh, I would have liked to hang on to uh, Pjanic a little bit longer. I think he's probably better than Van der Beek, to be fair, but he's uh, a lot older as well. And uh, we get Van der Beek in and a lot less wages. In fact, both of these are on a lot less wages. Uh, Noy's on 215. Stegen, what was he on? Uh, I think he was on slightly more than that. I think he was on 245 when we had him. But he's on less at United. But yeah, 95 million to United. I wonder if he'll be playing. For how long we'll see, but yeah, I'm I'm pretty de I'm pretty happy with that. And um, just and on top of that, since our five-two blasting of Real Madrid in the last episode, 
We carried on through the Champions League group. Zenit, we won 1 0. Uh, Brozovic scoring on 36 minutes. A really hard fought game, really. It shouldn't have been, but it was. Villarreal was a nice 2 1 victory. We were 1 0 earlier on. We threw Arugia and Depay scoring the win in that one. Then Club Bruges, bizarre 3 0 loss away from home. We're not doing too particularly well away from home in Europe. Yeah, 3 0. We got, we got trounced. Is the word I'd use for that. Uh, we had a couple of friendlies in the, our winter break throughout the whole of December. Well, literally the whole of November, December, we had a break. Uh, they went on holiday in November and then we came back training, but with those no matches through the winter break. So we had a friendly against Juventus. We lose that 3 2. De Jong and Sula scoring. And Ukhra, we had a tough 2 uh, 1 victory over that one. We were 2 0 up, coasting really. And then just conceded one right at the end. Then we get back to uh, winning ways in the league. Hispanis with a 2-0 win. We've got Depay and Pedri both scoring. The Super Cup, we've done and done it again. Uh, we came, we saw, we conquered it all. 6-1 win against Alves in the semi-final. Then Real Madrid in the, uh, in the final with two uh, goals in extra time through Depay through Depay. <laughs> we were tuning up in that game, coasting it, conceded in the 91st minute, hence the extra time, but we do win that 4-2. Bilbao had a nice, comfortable 3-1 victory. Pedri, Fatin, Cavani scoring. And then we had the Spanish Cup third round against the team, the Salon Cueno. I saw it draw up and I thought, I don't know who they are. And uh, Cavani with the hat-trick, even though they had a player sent off, we didn't really try in that game, to be fair. So, which leads us on now to Pamplona and Valencia. But let's have a look, look at the group stages. We do uh, finish second in the end. Man City winning their final game against Zenit. But yeah, disappointed not to win the game and win the group. So, but yeah, it is what it is. The rest of the groups, I think, uh, group stage, all groups. So, uh, Leverkusen, Napoli go through, Atletico go out, Liverpool, Milan, Man UFC and Real Madrid go through, uh, Dortmund and uh, Benfica, Bayern Munich and Roma, Man City and ourselves, Inter and PSG. So, tough, tough uh, group that is. But if we just have a look at um, the next stage, I'm not sure if we're in the next knockout stage. We are. We play Inter. Yeah, probably... Um, I don't know, I probably quite fancy playing against Inter. They've got no Lukaku anymore, so that should be okay. But uh, Atlanta, Leverkusen, Real Madrid, Liverpool, that'd be a tough game. Napoli, Man U, got PSG, Bayern, that's going to be a corker. Milan, Man City, Benfica, Leipzig and Roma play Dortmund. I'm not sure when they're being played, actually. Oh, they're playing, being played in February. So quite a way to go, though. But like I say, Pamplona and Valencia now. And if we just have a little quick look at the table. Top of the table, a game in hand. 11 points for Real Madrid, but a game in hand all the same. Win here, we'll go back to three points ahead. Win here, and we'll go back to uh, being three points ahead. So let's go on with the side. That's going to go through this one. Nice to have the lines back. Really nice indeed. Uh, we can only pick seven. So Bold is on the bench. Garcia is on the bench. Van der Beek's injured. He's going to be out for a couple of weeks as well. Uh, two weeks. And uh, Rujo is suspended, so Sula and uh, PK man the back. So we're going to start off with Neuer. Then Guéza, PK, Sula and Caesar at the back. Brozovic and De Jong. We've got Diallo, Pedri, Fati and Depay. I was thinking of bringing Collado in, but I tell you what, Diallo is playing really well at the moment. And uh, Cavani after that hat-trick as well. He's up to five goals, so we know that he's going to be, he can come on and score a load of goals also. So... Without any further ado, let's jump straight into the game. And uh, let's get the three points so we can move on to the Valencia game. Sula, Montiti. Nah. Montiti is causing a real stink, as you probably would have guessed anyway. But you know what? If he's available, we probably might use him. We'll see. That's our side. That's Pamplona. Anybody? Lucas Toro, Prezenac, uh Roberto Torres, Budimir. We're on fine form. We'll just keep them wins coming. We need to win, stay ahead of Real Madrid. Even a draw will stay ahead. But we're at home. We're expecting a victory here. As uh, it is Pamplona with the goal kick. And uh, they panic a little bit though. PK with the ball. Just needs to find Sula. Sula just play up front to De Jong. De Jong races forward with a lovely ball to Ahmad. 
It's a lovely finish. That is Ahmad Diallo. United are going to be very uh, angry to let this guy go. What a player. He's, I mean, tell you what, between him and Collado, Diallo will be my first choice, I think. Collado is a really, really good player, but that's a lovely lofted goal, that is. Lovely goal. Lovely. Fracas going on the edge of the box here. It could be a free kick. It is a free kick, De Jong. <laughs> it's 2 0. Let's go. Valencia up next away from home. It's always a tough uh, game to go to as well, Valencia. Very, very tough. But that's a lovely. Right in the corner. You know, you're not stopping that, you my friend. So 2 0. A lovely start to the game. Now we have a corner. Can we get a head on to it? We do get head on to it, but the goalkeeper does stand in his way. That's not allowed. You're not allowed to stand in the way of any shots going into the back of the net. We should get a header on it. We do. We sort of win it back, but give it away straight away. But we have pegged them back a little bit. Here they're trying to come forward once again. And we play them back again and force them all the way back to the goalkeeper. Lovely bit of press in there. And this time they come forward. They get past the halfway line. I mean, that's lovely play. That's a lovely finish. Neuer didn't stand a chance there. One and one. It's a lovely goal. I'd like my goalkeeper to play a little bit better. But, yeah. I mean, Neuer was cheap. Stegen just annoyed me. And, okay. Just don't concede many more goals. Fatty. You would have expected him to score that, wouldn't you? I certainly would have done. Right, Brozovic with a corner ball. Land it on somebody's head, please. Ahmad, gone son, tries to get the cross in. It's going to be another corner. We've just made an easy game very, very difficult now. Nobody getting on the head there at all. Do we work the ball into the box? No, we don't. It's coming up to half time. It's very, very quick. They've had the one shot on goal now. Very, very annoying. We conceded it. But that's all they've had. They've literally had nothing. Right, free kick opportunity. No Dion. Brozovic has a go. Maybe um, De Jong should have had that one. Maybe he's on a different side of the pitch or something. Brozovic is going to have another go. Lower it down a bit. He does. This time the goalkeeper saves. It's a corner ball. Well, I thought he saved it. It looked like he saved it. Paradis can come in. Brozovic. And you know what? De Jong's been... Yeah, we're going to let um, Brozovic come out. And it's go for Pedri. He's been very, very quiet of late. So let's see what Isco can bring to the table. Hopefully he can uh, galvanise this side a little bit more. Ten minutes to go in just a minute. It's a free kick. Here they come. There's a lovely through ball. Oh, look at Neuer standing tall. He wasn't going to go down. Three minutes of added time remaining. It's a 2-1 win, I hope. Not as clean as I would have liked. It should not have been that, uh, that difficult. Right, OK. Right, we're going to move on over to the Valencia game. We'll have a look at the team sheets and then get to uh, pitch side. We've got Neuer in goal. We've got Mingueza. We've got Arujo, Sula, Dest, Pedri, Brozovic, De Jong, Diallo, Fatih and Depay. On the bench, though, is Isco, Omtiti, Collado, Trincao, PK, Perides and Cavani. Villarreal, on the other hand, are there any uh, Jose Gea, the Daniel Vass or Vass, uh, Moussa, uh, Guedes. So very, very tough uh, team that they've got there as well, actually. Um, always a hard team to come to, I think. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this in the slightest. It could be a potential banana skin, I feel. as um, Valencia lost the game. Sorry, I thought that was us for a second. And they're playing a 4-1-4-1 formation. So literally 10 people behind the ball. That's going to be difficult, I think. Let's skip it. It's a nice little pitch there as well. Nicely watered as uh, it is Valencia with the ball straight away. Uh, they give it away. We play it all the way back to Neuer to give him his first touch of the game. Dest to Fatty. Fatty's played, well, he's up for a lots of accolades. And he did well in the under-21s World Cup as well, I believe. And there's a goal. Depay with Diallo assist. It's a wonderful finish right into the left. And 30-odd seconds into the game. It's just quick very quick i mean it's a great ball in by ahmad finds i mean it's chipped in back of the pair it is 29 seconds in fact 28 29 seconds the back of the net 
that's how we want to see it. Uh, we are now opening up a six point gap. Real Madrid are obviously are not playing at the moment. Not an awful lot happening in this game so far. We've got into the half hour. Apart from that first highlight, the first few seconds of the game and the goal, it's been very, very quiet. And that's half time. Now. <laughs> uh, yeah, nil nil. Uh, one nil. Sorry, nil nil. We, we've got the goal. We've got the goal. I'm not wiping the goal off. Right, let's uh, more of the same then, please, gents. Um, encourage. They don't like being encouraged. What is wrong with you lot? Right, this is where we kind of come and stuck majority of the time. <laughs> I feel like no matter who goes in goal, they're going to concede goals. We just don't defend. It's a cracking goal. I mean, we should have seen it coming, really. Vast as well. What a fit. I mean, was it deflected? It's a great finish, though. So that's put us down to four minutes. Uh, four points now. Four minutes. Four points ahead. Let's see if we can get ourselves ahead. Not quite, though. As uh, It is Valencia that run off with it, though. Gomez. Ooh, almost get, uh, catching that ball there. Valencia, knock it up. Hold it. Hold it. Sula. Go wide. Nice. Des down the line to Fatty. Fatty cutting inside. Through ball to Depay. Depay lets it not fly. But Colado does. Come on. It's the same, similar sort of goal to the first one. Where Diallo played it back for Depay. This time Depay is the provider. And Colado who's just come on. What a finish. And this team do know how to play. I mean it's with his left foot. That was, um, that was a lovely goal. Okay, 20 minutes to go. Can we get some uh, people, can we go and give them a monster or something? Because they all look a little bit battered, don't they? Uh, we want to bring on Perides for, I mean, I want to say De Jong is looking knackered, isn't he? Fatty needs to come off as well. I'm wondering whether it should, yeah, I was going to bring in Cavani, but to be fair, we want to save some of our legs from our youngsters. And to have only three substitutions now is... It's a little bit of a uh, it's a little bit of a pain considering what we had in the last. Uh, nobody wants to go for it. Last season we had uh, twelve subs, uh, five allowed. It's a good header away though. We don't get it though, do we? Ball over the top, Piccini. Oh, it's an own goal. Oh, five minutes to go. Let's go attacking. I'm not. <laughs> Well, we make them changes and it happens every single time. We just, uh, it's three points blown there, boys. Three points blown. Uh, not happy. But again, it's a point away from home. It was at Valencia. Valencia were potential banana skins. Twice we went ahead. Twice we got pegged back and it's just an own goal right at the end. Right, we're just hoping now Real Madrid do not go ahead of us. Uh, yeah, I was furious. Apparently, I was, I was really furious about that one. Depay was the quickest off the mark. 28 seconds it was in the end. Fastest goal in the match for Barcelona, that is. Real Madrid win. Of course they bloody do. We are running away with it. It is ourselves and Real Madrid. It's going to be who holds the nerve. So far, 40 wins, 2 draws and 1 loss. Real Madrid, 40 wins, 1 draw and 2 losses. Who did they lose to? Obviously ourselves and San Sebastian. So we've got some more games. And uh, we'll come back to the Inter game, to the first round knockout. Because that's what we want. We want to win the Champions League. We've won everything else virtually. We want, to, we want the Champions League. That's where we'll come back to. So uh, maybe Sevilla as well, maybe. Maybe we'll do Sevilla. Okay, well... Come round about here at least anyway. If you enjoyed that, please pop a like on there. If you'd like to see more new to the channel, please subscribe. And until next time, folks, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.